Welcome to Drum Corps Central, a podcast. I am a 13-year-old Drum Corps superfan who loves all forms of the marching arts. Thanks for watching the podcast today. There will be an almost daily episode of this podcast recapping the previous night's Drum Corps scores and looking ahead. Today is Tuesday, July 17th, 2018, and we are in the heart of the 2018 Drum Corps International Summer Tour. We are beyond halfway, halfway in terms of the number of shows, probably was one or two days ago. You're now beyond halfway of tour. A lot to get to today, three shows last night. A huge show tonight in Broken Arrow. We get the top three contenders, Blue Devils, Blue Coats and Vanguard all in Broken Arrow tonight, a huge show. I'll get to the leaderboards and more here today on Drum Corps Central, a podcast. First up last night, Bentonville, Arkansas, music on the move. One open class core here, the Guardians, 65.85 is their score, which ranks ahead of Jersey Surf and Pioneer from last night. Jersey Surf is about on the cutoff area of semifinals. So right now, if these scores are true, it would show that the Guardians are probably in semifinals as it goes right now. When we get to the leaderboard, I'll break down the Guardians' chances of potentially getting their first open class medal in their few years of existence, and also their chances at potentially getting their first open class championship. It might be, it's going to be a tough one for them getting past Vanguard Cadets and Blue Devils B. But right now with that 65-8-5, that is looking like a really good score that could potentially knock off either of those two powerhouses. Go down the world class here, Carolina Crown 87-4-5, Phantom 82-2. Less than two points, though, still separate Phantom and Crossman. And really, if you think about that, that's kind of like ninth to probably 12th to 14th. Somewhere in there is where uh, the Crossmen are. I don't really know where they are right now because we did not have the Blue Knights in St. Louis the other day. But if St. Louis, what we saw there proves true, and you also have to throw the Academy in here, Crossman could be 14th. That's not a good position for them right now. Uh, you see Music City, they're almost breaking 70, and then uh, Surf and Pioneer down there at the bottom. Let's take a look at the scoring recap from Music on the Move last night. Here you see the Guardians recap. No other open class cores there, so really can't compare anything. You could compare this to where Surf and Pioneer, and even maybe where Music City is, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, some really good numbers on here. Their lowest number across the board is a 12-4 in visual analysis. That is not a bad score at all. I think that if they can keep a general effect score like a 26-2, Vanguard Cadets' top caption is General Effect, so I think if Guardians keep a great General Effect score, they take that against Vanguard Cadets, that could be a key to them uh, succeeding in Michigan City. Then down in World Class, uh, Crown wins everything here in General Effect and Visual. Uh, Phantom, Crossman kind of split captions here in certain things. Uh, then when we go over to music, here you see Phantom, really, they're kind of pulling away from the Crossmen. They split a few things on general effect and visual, but not anything here. It's a Phantom sweep. I think that Phantom's kind of got their show figured out. I think the judges are figuring it out. I think the fans are figuring it out. And I think any criticism that was coming of Phantom early in the season, I think that's kind of going away. And they are really pulling away from the Crossmen, which really means that they're pulling closer to ninth, eighth, seventh in the rankings. Uh, Crossman, I'm not saying that their show's bad. I actually enjoy their show a little bit more than I enjoy Phantoms and a few other Blue Stars, etc. I like the Crossman show, but where it is on the recap right now is not where it is from a fan perspective in my view. 
Uh, you see Music City, they were close to Surf last week. They're pulling away now, too. And then Surf and Pioneer down uh, at the bottom of Music. Second last thing, El Dorado, Kansas, drums across Kansas. Santa Clara Vanguard, look at that whopping 88 to even score. That is tremendous for them. Cadets 8305, Blue Knights 80.8. I thought that this gap might be a little closer, but from what I've been seeing from the Blue Knights and how the Cadets are gaining, I thought that this would be closer from like kind of like a fan perspective. But actually, more of from a recap perspective, but from a fan perspective, I just kind of don't in get the Blue Knight show. I just don't really kind of enjoy it right now. Uh, so this is bigger than I think I would have expected uh, for the Cadets above the Blue Knights. And I think this proves that the Cadets are really up there at seventh they're not going down they are seventh or maybe even sixth or fifth depending they are not going down though i think is what this proves see the academy they're quite close to the blue knights right now i know 2.2 is a little bit larger than close but compared to where they were last year this is close spirit they're right there something big to watch here was academy could they beat spirit they did that Madison right there, Troopers uh, Troopers were actually above Madison on the rankings, even after Madison had a show on uh, Sunday night, but the Troopers didn't. Um, the Troopers were still ahead. This shows that Madison is ahead of them by quite a lengthy margin. Uh, Genesis and Seattle Cascades, that could be a battle we're talking about all season long, but definitely a three-point advantage for Music City over Genesis. That is not what I would have expected at all coming into this season. Let's take a look at the scoring recap for Drums Across Kansas. So, uh, Vanguard, Clean Sweep in general effect and visual. Cadets, clean sweep for second. Blue Knights, a little bit of trouble in general effect. They were fourth in G1 by three-tenths. Yes, they do still get third, but only by two-tenths in general effect. Visual, it's kind of weird. Blue Knights do really well one night, then the Academy kill them the next night. It's very weird. Here you even see spirits getting past uh, Academy and visual proficiency and visual analysis. Color Guard is a very strong place for the Academy. Only two tenths off of uh, the Blue Knights last night. But as I said, some nights the Blue Knights kill the Academy. The other nights the Academy kill the Blue Knights. Really makes no sense. You also see over in General Effect, I just want to point this out real quick, Madison ahead in everything in General Effect above Spirit. That could be something we're talking about. If those two shows uh, improve as the tour goes on, that could be something we're talking about for a finalist spot in Indy. Then over in uh, music, Cadet's still second in everything. They were second in everything last night. I think that says a lot about where they are in terms of getting past the Blue Knights. Academy, they gotta improve in music music analysis it they're fourth music brass so they're fifth and i really see spirit they have really have a good brass program this year then you go over to percussion and we were uh we've been talking about or at least i have been about how the blue coats percussion might cost them come indie academy's percussion could cost them just in terms of making finals they're seventh they are six tenths behind uh spirit that's not really where they want to be and if you look at them compared to the blue knights they're 1.5 off that's not really where you want to be spirit then gets past academy of music which really as i think about watching academy on saturday night in denver and then watching uh spirit the following night in st louis really if Spirit could just improve that visual program just a little bit, I really think that they would be something to mess with come indie. But I think that the, all the doors, they need like new decorations on them or 
a new look to them or they need something with those doors because right now it's just not getting the job done. And the last show last night, Olathe, Kansas, Brass Impact. Colt Cadets, 54, even that's enough, I think, to be at least on the borderline of making open class finals right now if we would rank them all out, which I'll do in just a minute. Then uh, down in world class, Blue Coats, not a bad score at all, 87-5. It'll be interesting to see where they rank with Vanguard and BD tonight. Boston, 84-4-5. Blue Stars, 81-6-5. Mandarins, 85 uh, that gap's opening up. Mandarins, they had defeated the Blue Knights in their first head-to-head -head meeting. I think it was Sioux City last week. Now, uh, Blue Stars are kind of pulling away there. Colts Pacific Crest, Oregon Crusaders. The Pacific Crest, Oregon Crusaders gap kind of closed a little bit last night as well. Let's take a look at the scoring recap for Brass Impact. Colt Cadets only open class group. There are not much to uh, get to with them. Then over in world class, you see general effect and visual here. Uh, Blue Coats clean sweep. Boston, other than that, three general effect one. I don't really get the Blue Stars show, so I'm not understanding how they are, the, but then again, they're second in General Effect 1 and fourth in G2, so that really makes no sense. I just think I, I get Boston show more with like the Lost and Found theme than I do the Blue Stars show. I get that they're building something, but what are they building? You go over the visual, this is somewhere where Boston is strong, only two tenths off the blue coats. Uh, Mandarin's ahead of Blue Stars there. I think that's no surprise because the Mandarin's really are doing really good in visual. I, I think general effect and visual are really strong places for the Mandarin's this season. Then you look at music. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in brass. Go over to music analysis. Blue Coats first, Boston second, Mandarin's third, Blue Stars fourth. I think something good for the Mandarins is they're kind of just consistent. They're consistent in their scores. They don't go up and down like some cores do. Uh, but they are, it just fluctuates their standing. Sometimes they're third, sometimes they're fifth on this recap. So really it's kind of a, tonight are the Mandarins going to get a good percussion score or are they going to get a good brass score? It's kind of crazy how the Mandarins, uh, program is really doing so well this year. You go over to percussion, uh, that's where Boston's good. 17-1 to 17 even for the Blue Coats. Blue Stars, Mandarins to round that out. So those are the three shows that happened last night. Two in Kansas, one in Arkansas. Let's take a look at the DCI World Class Leaderboard for this morning, July 17th, 2018. So, Vanguard leads 88 even. Sorry that the Broken Arrow 717's cut off, just such a long town name. Uh, you go down the rankings here, you can see the Blue Knights, they... Uh, last night returning to competition really just I don't understand at all how the Blue Stars are ninth but I guess they're more of a recap core at least for me than a fan favorite I guess I think a lot of people do like it I just don't really understand it um you look at the bubble really opening up at least after last night when we get to see Academy and Crossman head-to-head -head, I either don't want to be the Crossman, really want to be the Academy, or just, it's just going to stay as like this, and it's going to be like two points between the two. Uh, Spirit, Madison, Colts, Troopers, no surprises there. Uh, Madison is kind of pulling away from the Colts now. You see, most cores do not uh, have a show tonight, and then there's no shows tomorrow night on the 18th, unfortunately. 
everybody returns to action. I think everybody, except maybe like the Blue Devils or somebody, don't have a show on Thursday night, but then everybody is Friday and Saturday and Katie and San Antonio, at least the uh, top contenders are. Two shows that uh, are big this week, Broken Arrow, you see those cores that are there. I'll break that down more in a minute. But huge show. Unfortunately, we don't get to watch it on Flow Marching. Not part of their streaming schedule this year. And Denton, another huge show. And again, unfortunately, we don't get to watch that on Flow either. Um, instead, they are broadcasting the Belton show, which has basically, as you can see here, every core that's not in finals. But it's understandable. It is a show sponsored by Flow Marching, so I don't want to totally go and totally complain about Flow Marching. Um, you see the whole leaderboard here. Some surprises, some non-surprises, uh, some things that will change. I think definitely we'll have a great picture of this tonight for the top contenders. And then as we get into San Antonio on Saturday. Let's take a look at the DCI Open Class leaderboards for this morning. So, left side leaderboard includes all cores, right side, excluding cores that will not be at championships. So, I said earlier that I'll break down how Guardians could get this done. Here's my mindset of this. Vanguard Cadets and Blue Devils B had a show on Sunday night in Norwalk, California. Guardians had a show last night in Bentonville, Arkansas. So only a night separates these two scores, and the Guardians are very close. They were going head-to-head -head with Louisiana Stars in Southwind last week and Heat Wave, so they were being judged against other open-class scores. Now, without being judged against other open-class scores and only being judged against those world-class scores, could that have had an impact on this? Sure. But I think only a day separating this, and they're that close to Vanguard Cadets and Blue Devils B. I think are I think the Guardians really have something to mess with this season. And if I'm these other two, I really don't want to be them right now because they're coming. And every year it's the same thing. Can anyone dethrone these two world class powerhouses? Pretty much, and every year since I think it was Oregon Crusaders, it's always been a uh, contest for third. Yes, the Guardians do hold that right now, and I think that they are in legit shape to take home bronze right now as things stand. Yes, we haven't seen them against everyone, including Gold, Legends, Spartans haven't had a show in like two weeks. We'll see them return to action Saturday. That, that's actually one of the best battles this whole week is Spartans versus Legends uh, Saturday in Glens Falls, New York, because who knows what that's going to turn out to be. Yes, we haven't seen the Guardians against everyone, but I think we've seen them against Louisiana Stars and Southwind, who are two great cores. I think that we've seen them against them, and I think they've really proved themselves. If they could keep a three-point gap, on really the rest of the competition for the rest of this month until everybody returns to action. And they keep doing shows. They don't stop. Some of these scores stop. Like, look on the next show column. You get, like, Heat Wave. They're off until, like, five days before, less than five, like, three days before the finals. You've got, like, River City Rhythm. They're off till the end of this month. Southwind, same deal. They don't stop. They keep going. I believe they go to San Antonio, then they go up with some open class scores in one of their shows is I think in either Colorado or Utah. So really, they have a really good case right now to potentially be the uh, bronze medalist or the champions, depending on how this all plays out. Uh, we get to see them later on this week in Belton. So actually, if you have not seen the Guardians yet, which I have not, I'll be watching Flow Marching on Thursday night to see what they're all about and really how they do because they really, with they're really 
with this whole new mindset of drum corps. They've got this whole like modern day music, but they've also got like classical music. So really it's a interesting theme or program that they've got. And I'm really uh, pumped to see it on Thursday night on flow. That's all I got for the open class leaderboard. You can see the finalist margin there. Heatwave, pretty good score they laid down. Uh, I think that readers, they haven't had a show in a few days, or not even a few days, for like two weeks. So I don't know if we can really compare anything in terms of how they are to the bubble. I think if you put them in, I think you got to slide everybody down. I think 7th Regiment is another one you got to move up because that 55-5 definitely is not an 11th place score. Uh, they're not going to be 11th. They're going to be like 7th. No pun intended. Tonight's show for Tuesday, July 17th, 2018. One show, Broken Arrow, Oklahoma, Tour of Champions, Oklahoma, presented by Drums of Summer. All time central time on here. 740, things get underway with Phantom Regiment, 757, Blue Knights, 814, the Cavaliers, 831, Boston Crusaders, 848, 17-minute intermission, 905, Blue Coats, 922, the Blue Devils, 939, Vanguard, 1021, scores announced. What to watch here? No crown here, so take them out, take the cadets out, neither of them are here. I, I think they're the only ones... Out of the top like seven that aren't here five of the seven so what to watch blue coats blue devils vanguard blue coats only lost to the blue devils by a very close margin on sunday night is it close tonight or is it lengthy either way really now vanguard is a point or two ahead of both of them that says something because that says that Vanguard are your clear favorites to win the championship, which right now I think they are. I just think we can't rule out the other two yet, and I think tonight will help us prove that. Boston and the Cavaliers, how do they, how do they turn out tonight? I personally think Boston has a, a better show, better designed and all that stuff, but the Cavaliers were better the other day, so who knows? And then Blue Knights and Phantom. Blue Knights are, as we saw last night with the scores, they're not really a threat right now to go up and get 7th or higher. So we haven't seen them against Phantom yet. Could they be really close there? Who knows? A few notes for Tour of Champions Oklahoma, Broken Arrow Memorial Stadium, Broken Arrow Oklahoma, site of one of the best uh, bands in Bands of America. Broken Arrow, Oklahoma weather. There is a heat advisory in effect until 8 p.m. So if you're going to this show uh, or waiting for scores to be announced tonight to tweet them out or whatever, uh, just be cautious, I guess, that this show may be delayed until 8. I haven't seen anything yet, at least of right now, that DCI is going to delay the show until 8 because of the heat. So I have the weather forecast here for 7 to 10, uh, partly cloudy skies, early cloudy as the night goes on. There is a chance of some thunderstorms, strong thunderstorms throughout the day that could affect some course rehearsal time. But otherwise, it looks like a good night for some drum corps in Broken Era. Last uh, little thing to get to today. Uh, kind of like a breaking overnight kind of situation. The Santa Clara Vanguard kitchen truck was involved in an accident overnight. I just have a few notes here according to the statement that they released on the website. Vanguard's mobile kitchen truck, it was involved in a single vehicle accident last night on their way to Oklahoma from Kansas. The driver is safe, only sustaining minor injuries. Sean Gallant, Santa Clara Vanguard Corps director said, we are thankful to those who first responded to the accident and for the health and safety of our driver. Uh, and then two other things, the kitchen trailer was totaled. It was kind of like a historical kitchen trailer from what I've seen. So 
that's sad there, but um, they are looking at renting a new kitchen trailer. Actually, not looking. They are going to rent a new kitchen trailer for the rest of the season. I've seen numerous cores on Twitter, Phantom, and I think the Blue Knight or Blue Devils both said on Twitter that they would um, be trying to help Vanguard in whatever way they can. So kind of like a sad accident or sad story overnight with this accident. So um, hopefully Vanguard can turn things around and maybe they can go out and show tonight that they probably or might be the uh, DCI World Champions in August. And now just a few things before I'm done here today. Make sure to check out drumcorecentral.weebly.com for all your latest updates from the DCI and DCA Summer Tours. Scores, schedules, leaderboards, and more can all be found on drumcorecentral.weebly.com, my own personal website about all things drum core. Check out my Twitter and Instagram pages at Drum Corps Geek and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Drum Corps Central. Thank you for watching today. I'll be back uh, later this week with another episode of Drum Corps Central, a podcast. Thank you for watching. Good luck to all performing members and cores tonight.